everyone welcome back so soon I know that I just posted a video on this makeup look and this is kind of a uh, makeup look that I created for um, kind of for like interviews or anything like that I'm gonna link that video down below um, if you're interested in watching that so I did film this makeup look and it's very simple very neutral um, however, I did want to go ahead and film another uh, video for you guys right after that one. This video is just basically kind of a uh, my highlighter collection. I don't have an extreme amount of highlighters, but I do have some that I'd like to share with you guys that I've kind of acquired um, in time. And um, yeah, so I just basically just wanted to sit down and film this video for you guys and let you know what highlighter collection I have. And I'll be showing you some swatches as well. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video. And let's get started. The first highlighter that I'm going to mention, um, I'm not going in any specific order as far as the highlighters. Um, I'm just going to kind of grab the first one that I see. So the first highlighter that I have is the Jordana Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick. And this is in the shade Pearl glow pearl glow and it's highlight in under 30 seconds is what it says and it looks like this it looks like this and I'm gonna swatch this one right here I don't know if you guys can see it it's this shade right here it's not super pigmented um, this is, of course, from a drugstore. It's a drugstore highlighter, so um, this one is very subtle. It's kind of like that glow from within type of a highlighter. As you can see, you can't barely even tell it's on my skin. Um, but I do like it for my in a hurry type of days where I just want to put on just a little bit of concealer, a little bit of powder, and a little bit of this on and just run out the door. I really do like it um, and it's very cheap I think I paid like $2.99 or $3.99 maybe in Walgreens so um, yeah it's definitely worth a try. The next highlighter I have also is from Drugstore and it's the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. It's the Mega Glow Illuminating Palette and it looks like this and this is in the shade or in uh, Catwalk, Catwalk Pink, Pink and it looks like this and I have used I have used it for quite some time. Um, I usually use it within the first two shades, um, the first two rows here, because this one is a little bit too dark for me for a highlighter. Um, but I do use this as a blush topper swatch. And this is not super glowy. As you can see, it's very powdery, but as you can see, um, it's not a lot of bling. It's just, it's just kind of soft. If I keep it within these two rows, then it's a little bit, there you go. You'll see the difference. And this is very pretty, however, it is very chalky. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, this was about, I think this was like $4.99. And it's, and it's from the uh, Wet n Wild um, collection. Um, however, I do really like this for like an everyday. I think it's very pretty. The next one that I have is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. Looks like this. And I've also purchased this because I know Kathleen likes Kathleen Lights talks about this highlighter a lot in her videos. Um, she likes it because it gives that subtle glow. It's not that in-your-face kind of type of um, glow, but it is a very pretty. As you can see, it's the one right here. And this was also very inexpensive. I got this one at Target, I believe, and this was maybe like $3.99, so it's very inexpensive. And I personally like that one better than the Wet n Wild um, Highlighting Mega Glow Palette. So The next highlighter that I have is an oldie but a goodie, and it's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I don't think I use this on my videos. I just, I, I use this so much prior to starting the YouTube that... I just started using other ones. As you can see, it's very well loved. You have some dent marks in there. And <laughs> it's very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this so you guys can see. For those that haven't tried, this highlighter is phenomenal, which I need to get in the habit of using it again. I just, just haven't. I don't know why. It's very pretty. It's kind of like a yellow gold 
yellow champagne gold um, type of highlight. Um, this one I purchased again some time ago and I think this was like about $21. Um, I'll link it um, down below where you can get it. But this used to be my favorite of all time. And it's still one of my favorites. I just kind of been branching out and using other highlighters. And right now I'm kind of hooked on the Pure Essence one as well as the next highlighter that I'm going to show you right now. Which is no surprise. It is the... Ta -ta -ta. Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette and you guys can see this is so pretty these are stunning shadow stunning um, highlights Whew. that one's kitty cat I'm just gonna quickly that one is forever young right here and some of these are a little bit dark for me but I can use them as blush toppers this one is daydream And you have, oh, let's see, let's do it over here. This one is Forever Lit. Then you have, this one is Glow Getter. And then this one is 143. They're very pretty. This does have some glitter on it, but actually, in reality, when I go to apply, I don't notice any of the glitter. It's just mostly on the pans. Um, but I love the shades that she included here. This is my favorite, 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 favorite of all time. I've been using, I've been using this nonstop um, for my day to day to go out, whatever the occasion. This has been the palette that I've been using recently, just because I love it that much. So, yeah, I'm super excited. I think this was like forty eight dollars, and I got this at Sephora. So I have a few more, and these are kind of just like mixture palettes that I'm going to show you. Um, they're not just a highlighter, but they do come in um, palettes, and they're highlighters, so I might as well just show you. I have this um, palette by Sephora. It's a Sephora brand, and it's the Wishes Come True palette. And I got this at a, for Christmas. I'm not sure. One of those Christmas palettes that they put on sale. It has the two, these two shades right down here are highlighter shades, and it's the Nighttime Glow and the Midnight Magnificent. And let me just watch this for you. Look at that. Then I have this one as the Midnight Magnificent. Looks like this. And this one's a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but you can still see the glow. Very pretty. What I have is the Tarte Tardiest Pro Glow to Go. And this is the highlighting shade right here. And it is in the shade Gleam. It's kind of a silvery, taupey. Um, Highlight looks like that. It's very subtle, nothing too in your face, nothing too bright. And it is what I am wearing today. I think it, yeah, it is what I'm wearing. No, no, I'm using the Essence Pure Nude. Sorry, okay, so this is different, but this is in the shade Gleam. And this one is supposed to be to set your under eye, however, I think it's a little bit too shimmery for the under eye. So I think you can use it also as a highlight. Looks like this, it's too, it's a little bit yellow. But it is on the shimmering side, so you can use that as a highlight as well. The next one I'm going to mention is a little embarrassing to show you, but I have to mention it because it was one of my all-time favorites, hands down, in a very long time. And this was actually prior to me purchasing the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Um, it was my favorite. This is so old, it doesn't have the glass. There's no writing on the back. And it looks like this. And you might think, oh, it's pink, so it's kind of a blush. It's not a blush. It applies literally like a highlight. And this was from H&M. I think I, or H&M or Forever 21? Forever 21. So I purchased this in Forever 21. And I immediately fell in love with this because I like the fact that I would put it on and it would just have a such a pretty glow and it is a little bit on the pink side I don't think you guys can even tell on camera but in person it's just the prettiest kind of glow um, again I love this I use it so much it's kind of beat up and I still use it um, I just don't reach for it often because I have more 
more choices. The next one that I'm going to mention for you guys is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Lace Illuminator. And this is in the shade Gilded Honey. Another one of my favorites. Very well loved as you guys can see. And I use this quite a lot. And it still has a little bit of the shape. But this is like a stunning yellow gold type highlighter. It's right there. And these were one of these products that YouTube made me buy it. Watching Desi Perkins and Crispy and Lustre Lux, they always used to use this highlight and I was hooked with it. I needed to have it so I went and purchased it. And it was a little pricey for such a small highlighter. However, that was my first initial thought. However, after using it so long and so much and it still looks like this, well worth the money. Definitely worth it. And it looks so beautiful on the skin. Again, that's the Gilded Honey right here. Okay, the next ones that I have, we actually got in BoxyCharm. And these, I have to say, are my least favorite highlights out of the bunch, even out of the drugstore ones. These are my least favorite. I don't use them often. I have used them um, because, of course, I got it in BoxyCharm, so why not use it? I'm not going to just not use the product, but I just I don't find that I like it as much. And these are the Vintages, the vintage, Vintages by Jessica Lebeskind, 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 I'm not sure how to say it, but it looks like this, it's the white package, and mine's is kind of dirty, so I'm sorry about that, it's the only bad thing about white packages, it's a white matte package with the letter gold, the packaging is very beautiful, um, but it does get dirty really fast. And this one is the Illuminating Face Highlighter in Rose Gold, which looks like this. And it's just, it's just very powdery and I don't know. So it's this one right here. And then this one, which is the Rose Quartz. It's the Illuminating Face, pa Face Highlighter Set in the shade Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. And this one looks very beautiful in the packaging. So this one is Chocolate Diamond and this one is Rose Quartz. They're very beautiful in the packaging, but again, same thing. When I go to apply it, it's very chalky. So this is the Chocolate Diamond. And then, I'm going to put this one up here. This one is the Rose Quartz. You can't even see it. The next highlighter that I have for you guys is also a Wet n Wild. It's a Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and in the shade Pushing Petals. And this, this is stunning, it's beautiful, it's pigmented, it is glowy, it is beautiful. Just watching it here. I don't know, the camera is not doing it justice, but it is a very beautiful highlighter. Very worth the money. I like it. The next one we got in our boxy charm, and this is the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It looks like this. It's also kind of a gold. I want to say this one is very comparable to the Luminizer. Let me let me double check. It's very comparable to the very to the Luminizer Mary Luminizer. It's just a tad a little bit more gold, but it's very beautiful. And this is a very in-your-face highlight. Just keep that in mind. And again, the lighting, I don't think it's doing it justice. Let me... Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful highlight. I'm actually going to go in because I actually love this highlighter as well. We're going to go in and just... Do you see that? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, that's an in-your-face highlighter. And that's kind of like, I get this giddy feeling every time I put these highlighters on. They're super glowy. But, girl. Let's glow it up. And last, but certainly not least, is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition from BH Cosmetics. And even though there's eyeshadows in here, I thought it would be fair to include them in my collection because technically they're eyeshadows, but these are all highlights. 
Um, so it would just be fair to include it in my highlight collection. But look at that. The only thing I say that I wish this had were would name would be names because I'd like to name the products. Um, they don't have names, but this is just kind of an example so you guys can see how pretty they are. And I think I swatched this on my review video. If I didn't, then here are the swatches. And then this is the other one. I'm going to put this up here. And then this one. Sorry, I don't mean to give you guys a middle finger. But these are the shades. I don't think I swatched this one very well. There you go. So these are the shades. And I have to say my favorite shades are these three here. Um, just because I'm a little pale and I do like if I'm going to use highlighter I want it to be a little bit lighter than my skin tone the rest I do use as you know eyeshadows but this one um, these three are my favorite as the actual that's basically it that's my highlighter collection and um, I do like purchasing high sh highlighters there's a lot of them that I want to try uh, I just I'm holding off because I have so many that I want to be able to really play with the ones that I already have and use it a little bit more before I continue to spend and purchase more and more highlighters. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my highlighter collection. Let me know what other collection you would like to see. If you would like to see like my palettes collection. Um, again, I don't have a ton, ton, ton of makeup, but I do have, I, I, I think I have a good amount. I just don't have a ton. Um, comparing to other YouTubers just because um, I'm just starting out in the YouTube and I'm very particular. I Once I get a palette that's the one I use all the time because that's the one I love. Um, just like right now, the palette that I'm using a ton is the Carly Bible. That's the one that I'm using frequently. Um, and if it's not the Carly Bible, I usually use my Peach palette because I love that palette. Other than that, you know, the other ones, I just kind of leave there and then use it when I need to create a particular makeup look for you guys. Um, or just when I feel like, okay, I've used the same palette for the whole week. Let me branch out. Let me get another palette that I haven't used in a while. So, um, but I do have several palettes that I can definitely go in and to, um, share with you guys. Let me know if that's something you want to see. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all of the support for my new subscriber, for my new subscribers and those that are considering subscribing to my channel. I welcome you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below and I will see you guys on my next video.